we go to New York usually the first Monday after Thanksgiving, uh, which is in November, late November. It's for two weeks. It's pretty immersive and it's mainly to do with the art world. Um, we go to art museums, we go to um, galleries, we go to artist studios, um, including um, one art specialist who has been writing for Art and Auction for a very long time. And he mainly talks to the students about the business world of the art world and for some students they haven't even thought about that. They're quite romantic and um, they think they're going to be sort of in their studio and be picked up. I do have quite a, a lot of access to artist studios and galleries. I do tell students that they're kind of getting my view of New York. Quite a lot of preparation before we go. There's a lot of forms to fill out. There's lots of information that I need from them. I give them quite a long itinerary. They're asked to carry that, that with them each day. Um, but there's also sheets that I give them when we're actually in New York. Um, it sort of allows the students to be able to sort of break off into groups and sort of to do things individually. Um, the sort of tour that I run is not a tour where I lead you around in a big group and talk at you in front of. We have quite incredible conversations. You know, I talk a lot. It sounds as though it's very hands-off. It actually isn't hands-off. But the students can have as much or as little as they want of me. There are four assessment requirements that I ask for them, from them. It sounds easy, but it isn't. Um, I ask them to keep a, a diary, a journal, where I ask them a number of questions. So it's sort of, it's very experiential. And the journals, if they're good, are so moving. You know, they're so attentive, they're so experiential. I can see how deeply somebody's actually thinking and experiencing um, the tour and the city. Um, I ask them to do a review of an experience. I also ask them to do a summary of the of the entire experience and I also ask them to do a visual diary. I, I do talk to the students about the fact that they need to keep that journal while they're there because if you ask me what I did yesterday morning, I possibly may not be able to tell you because I've forgotten because there's other things that have kind of taken that place. It isn't just all about you know museums and things like that. It is, it is your entire experience. I often don't have to advertise this tour. This tour fills up by itself. Some students even take out loans to do it. You know they've they've told me, which always sort of is a little bit of a shock to me. But they really want to go, and often it is through word of mouth that they hear from other students that have gone, who have said just how much they got out of it, and that it's an experience that they really should take. I run into those people on the street, the very first thing they talk to me about is New York. You know, they say how much it has affected their lives, how much it changed their practice, how much it made them realise just how hard they had to work, um, just how inspiring it was. Um, because you've got people who basically hammer their friends going, you won't believe what I just did and how amazing it was.